So a factor is a special type of vector uh, which is used to create uh, to represent categorical data. So um, and there's two types of factors: there's unordered or orders. So you can think of this as being as storing data that are have labels that have that are categorical but have no ordering. So for example, male and female, um, or you can have um, ordered factors which might represent things that are ranked. Uh, have, so they have an order, but they're not numerical. For example, uh, you know, in many universities, you'll have assistant professors, associate professors, and full professors. Those are categorical, but they're ordered. Um, so one, you can think of a factor as an integer vector where each integer has a label. So for example, you, might, you can think of it as a vector as 1, 2, 3, where 1 represents um, you know, high, and for example, a high value, and 2 represents a me medium value, and 3 represents a low value. So you might have a, a, a variable that's kind of called high, medium, and low, and underlying in R is represented by the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Um, so factors are important because they're treated specially by modeling functions uh, like LM and GLM, which we'll talk about later, but these are functions for, for, for fitting linear models. Um, and factors are with labels, um, generally speaking, are better than using simple integer vectors because the factors are what are called self-describing. So having a variable that has values male and female is more descriptive than having a variable that just, that just has ones and twos. So for example, in many data sets, you'll find that uh, a there'll be a variable that's coded as one and two, and it's, and it's not easy to know whether that variable is really a numeric variable that only takes values one and two, but the problem is that's not something that's coded in the data set, so it's hard to tell. If you use a factor variable, then the coding for the labels is, all, is kind of built into the variable, and it's much uh, easier to understand. So factors can be created with the factor function, and the input into the factor function is a character vector. So here I'm just creating a symbol factor with the, uh, which has what, two levels, and the levels are yes and no. Um, and so x is a factor, and you can see when it prints out a little bit differently from a character vector in the sense that uh, it prints out the values yes, yes, no, yes, no, and then it has a separate, a separate attribute which is called the levels. And so the levels of this factor are no and yes, okay? So there's only two levels. Uh, I, can ca I can call table on this vector, and it'll give me a frequency count of how many of each level there are. So for example, there's two, it'll tell me that there are two no's and there's three yeses. Now, the unclass function uh, strips out the class for a, so for a vector. So for example, I can, I, if I call unclass on x, um, it'll, it'll kind of bring it down to an integer vector. And you can see that underlying um, the factors represented as 2, 2, 1, 2, 1. So yes is coded as 2 and no is coded as 1. Now it's not really essential for you to know this because you can just treat the factor as being a vector of yeses and nos, uh, but it's used, sometimes it's, it's useful just to know under, underneath kind of how factors are represented by R. And so you can see it's really an integer vector with the attribute, the levels attribute of no and yes. Uh, the order of the levels um, in the factor can be set using the levels argument to factor. So, for so, and sometimes this is important because in modeling functions, when you include a factor variable, um, this is sometimes it's important to know what the baseline level is. And so, the baseline level is just the first level in the factor. And the way this is determined by in R is critical. It's determined uh, using alphabetical order. So, for example, if I create a factor variable uh, with the le with the elements yes and no then the baseline level will be the first level that's encountered. And because no comes before yes in the alphabet, um, then no will be the baseline level and yes will be the second level. Now, this may not be something that you want. Uh, you might want, for example, yes to be the baseline level and no to be the second level. Uh, and then in that case, you have to explicitly tell R that yes is going to be the first level. And you can use that using the levels argument to the factor function. So now when I print out the x uh, object, you see that the elements are still the same. It's still yes, yes, no, yes, no, but the levels attribute is reversed because yes is the first uh, level and no is the second level.